Christina. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Christina. Like I said, um, today I have a shoe review for you, which shoe reviews are like one of my favorite things to do because I'm kind of shoe obsessed. So I enjoy um, looking up shoe reviews on YouTube as well because it kind of helps me like gauge like do I want the shoe? Um, is it worthwhile? Especially since I like luxury shoes. So if you like luxury shoes, then you're definitely going to love my channel. I actually have an entire playlist about shoe reviews like Chanel, um, Valentino, Saint Laurent, Louboutin, now Gucci. So I will link my playlist in my info box below. So if you are in the mood to do some binge watching YouTube videos, go for it and you can check out all my shoe reviews. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so now. Now is a great time to subscribe so you can see all my fashion videos, um, shoe reviews like this one, <laughs> all types of awesome stuff. So definitely hit that subscribe button. So today we're going to talk about the Gucci slides. So before I begin, which FYI, I'm really sorry if you hear my voice like being it sounds kind of weird right now because I'm getting over a cold. Hopefully I'm getting over it. I still have it, but I really wanted to film this video, so we're going to go for it. Okay, so I originally thought these slides were like the ugliest thing. Not the specific ones I bought, but in general. I thought that the Gucci slides were super, like, not cute. Especially the ones with, like, the patterns all over it. And, like, they come in, like, bright blue colors and, like, yellow and, like, all these crazy colors. And I was just like, no. Well, they finally came out with one that I really liked and <laughs> it completely changed my mind about the shoe. I'm sure some people are going to think they're completely tacky, but I really don't care. I love glitter. They came out with a glitter pair, so it was made for me. So I feel like with the Gucci slides, um, if you're not into them or you're into them but you can't find a print that you like, just give it some time because they're constantly coming out with new prints new colors, new like fabrics. So eventually one that you like will probably come out. Unless it's not your style at all, then I completely understand. Not really sure why you're watching this video though if you don't like it at all. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you them. This is not a true unboxing just because I don't like doing shoe reviews if I've never worn the shoe before, right? That, that wouldn't really make a lot of sense. So this is the box it comes in and obviously by my thumbnail I know that you you know what they are but here they are they're super sparkly like way more sparkly um in person than <laughs> in the picture so hopefully the sparkliness does justice in this video but they are pretty I don't want to say simple because they're definitely not simple they're very sparkly but there's no, what I like about them is A, they're sparkly, but B, there's no like weird um, like pattern on them, if that makes sense. And it just has the classic uh, Gucci horse bit on it. And then it says Gucci on here with a little heart. And inside, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but inside right here, it has like the date code on it, like the authenticity code. And it has it, yeah, it has it on both of them. So it looks like that. So I will say that these shoes are pretty comfortable. They have a really small heel, um, like I don't even know, that's maybe half an inch right there. So they're really comfortable shoes. So if you're going to buy a expensive shoe, sometimes like a flat version is the way to go. Something like this, um, even like the Chanel Espadrilles or the Baby Valentino heel, <laughs> the kitten heel. Those are really great shoes. Um, to purchase if you're gonna buy a high-end shoe because you're gonna get a ton of wear out of it. You're gonna get way more wear out of this than like something like the Christian Louboutin Stokate which is ridiculously high and like half of the world can't even walk in it. I mean unless you're like a heel person and you wear heels 24-7 then sure go for a heel but I don't wear heels every day especially during the daytime like I, I prefer to wear like a nice flat or something like that or a he or a very small heel or like a wedge. I like wedges too. I'll wear wedges a lot, especially in the spring and summer, but I do live in Florida so I can kind of get away with it year round. But either way, these are really great. Um, if you live up north, you probably aren't going to want to wear these in the winter. I would not want to get these wet with snow. Um, you probably could damage them, especially right here because they're leather. Um, so. What I did to protect these, especially with glitter, I've had glitter shoes before, 
was, and I usually use my leather spray on everything, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna, like, I wasn't sure if it was gonna damage the glitter or not. Um, I think the leather spray would be fine for the inside of your shoe. So I actually just sprayed the edges right here, um, probably where we're gonna, I'm gonna get the most wear. I sprayed it with hairspray just to like keep the glitter in place. I watched another YouTuber review these shoes and they had issues like right on the tip right there um, with a gl with glitter falling off. So I've just sprayed some hairspray on it and hopefully that will protect it. I guess after maybe six months or a year of wearing these, I can do an updated review for you guys to let you know um, if that worked. <laughs> so um, let's talk about sizing real quick. So I bought a size six and a half. I think you can see it right there. Um, and I usually wear a size six or six and a half in shoes, in most designer shoes. Um, for reference, in all the Valentino Rock studs, I wear a six and a half. Um, in the Saint Laurent Tributes, I wear a six and a half. Christian Louboutins, I usually wear a six, six and a half, sometimes five and a half. Louboutin is not a good shoe to reference sizes because their shoes are like all over the place. Um, but for the most part, I usually wear a six in like non-designer shoes, six and a half designer shoes. So. This is why I went with six and a half and it fits pretty perfectly. So I would go with your designer shoe for this type of shoe. You don't want it to be too big, um, especially with this being a flat shoe and there being no back to it because your foot is just going to slide out and then your arch is going to hit right here and that's going to hurt. I haven't had any major issues with my foot sliding. If you were to wear socks, which I don't know why you would wear socks with these, but I don't know. People do what they want to do. If you were, then your foot would probably slide a lot more because it's going to be slippery. But so far, no issues with that. I've worn these two times. Um, you can see some wear on the bottom, but you can, I would definitely buy from these, um, especially if you're going to wear them a lot, which these shoes you can get a ton of wear out of just because they're comfortable. Um, speaking of comfort, yes, they are comfortable. I would give them like pretty much a 9 out of 10. However, this first time I wore them, no issues. Second time, I wore them and walked a lot farther. And I did get a blister on each foot on one of my toes. And it was the same toe on each foot. It was the second toe. And I think it's because if you can see in here, this is all leather. It's completely leather up here and on the bottom. So your your feet, your toes are rubbing on the leather up here, which when you get brand new leather shoes, that's probably going to happen with any shoe because the leather has to be broken in. However, once you break leather shoes in, they are some of the most comfortable shoes ever and this is like a nice soft like kind of like a kid leather so they're definitely gonna be really malleable and soft once you break them in but you just kind of have to break them in like as you can see since it's a new shoe I know all the OCD people out there freaking out probably because I put my hand there but okay anyway so like as you can see it barely bends because they're brand new but once you wear these a bunch it's going to become a lot softer and it's going to bend a lot easier your foot is going to mold into it and i really feel like they're probably going to be super comfortable shoes so where can you buy these shoes you can buy them either at gucci gucci.com um neiman marcus Saks Fifth avenue nordstrom i've seen all of them and I got very lucky and found mine brand new in the box at the Real Real, which as you guys know, if you watch my videos, that's my favorite consignment store. Um, I will link their link below and I have a $25 um, off coupon for you if you are new to the Real Real, your first purchase you can get $25 off. So I was very lucky and got these on there for like a lot cheaper than what they are and they were brand new in the box. Now, the Real Real doesn't usually sell things brand new. It's a consignment store, so a lot of stuff is pre-owned, but sometimes every once in a while they'll get like brand new. I don't know who's sending it to them, but they're getting these like brand new shoes never worn. So I was able to get these, so I was so excited. They only had my size and a couple other sizes and I just happened to look at the right time and scooped it up. So that was awesome. So another question that I might get about these is how to style them. So I'm going to insert a picture of like what I'm wearing right now and what they look like. I think they look super cute. I also wore them yesterday with um, dark jeans, which looked really great. And speaking of this outfit, can we talk about that sweater for a second that I'm wearing? It's like so comfy. It looks cute like this or like with off the shoulder. I love it. So I'll link everything in my outfit that I'm wearing below. So if you want to see other things besides the Gucci 
issues, you can do that as well. Um, I will also link below all the different stores that you can buy these. I'll try to link them in as many stores as I can. Um, but if you're not interested in these sparkle ones, I get it. They're not for everyone. They're like really in your face. Um, they have like a million different, like they have different ones. They have very plain ones. They have ones with the Gucci pattern. They have ones like with crazy patterns as I was talking about. They have everything. So you can also find if you're not interested in spending a lot of money, but you want some mules. I've seen them everywhere. They're like literally everywhere right now. Like places like Target have like designer dupes and, um... I don't know, like any like major fashion, high street fashion that you can think of, like they all have like the plain ones that look like Gucci kind of mules. I mean, Gucci wasn't the first one that came out with mules. It's just right now they're the ones that are doing it. I feel like they're they're the most popular at it right now. I guess we could say that most people want to buy theirs. Um, but there's tons of options out there if you don't want to buy these. Um, but I just like designer shoes and Pretty much all the videos I make about shoes are about designer shoes, so if that's something you like, definitely check out my other videos. So we talked about comfort, we talked about sizing, I showed you a way I could style it. It also looks really great with dresses. Um, I tried it on with a dress, I haven't worn it yet with a dress, but it looks super cute. I feel like it looks cute with skirts. I mean, you can do so much with these shoes, I really feel like they're worth the money just because... They're so comfortable, like minus my blister. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not worried about it. I know I'm gonna break them in. Um, I just feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of them just because they're like a flat shoe. They're kind of remind me of my Chanel Espigils. Obviously they look nothing like them, but the same idea, like they're a lower shoe and I wear my Chanel Espigils all the time. So I definitely know I'm gonna wear these. So in the two days that I've worn them, I've probably gotten like 10 compliments, like even from men, like uh, when I was at like brunch with my friends, like the valet guy was like, oh my God, your shoes. And my response with the shoes are you either love them or you hate them. And he's like, oh, I love them. Like, <laughs> So people who really like that like them will definitely compliment them. So I would love to hear what you guys think. Like, what do you think of the Gucci mules? Which they also go, I've heard people call them Gucci slippers, Gucci mules, Gucci slides, whatever you want to call them. I believe though that Gucci calls them mules. Um, but leave me a comment below and let me know, like, are you super into it or do you think that they're super ugly, super awesome, <laughs> like, anything you guys want to say, leave a comment below and I would love to hear from you guys. I think that is everything. I hope that you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you very soon. Bye.